All right, you guys. Okay, so hi, happy Tuesday. So today um, we're gonna do a little work with yoga and then we're gonna go into a little um, relaxation and restorative part of our uh, class. So before we get started, I want you guys to grab pillows or um, blankets. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Not at the beginning, we're going to do it at the end, but at least you can get an idea of what we're doing. So whatever type of pillow or blanket or like a beach towel because it's thicker. So one, so if you imagine going to a yoga studio, they have the big bolsters and the blocks. So we're kind of mimicking that. So a pillow, it doesn't need to be long, it can be long. And then you can use a towel, just roll it up, a thicker towel or a couple other pillows. So we're gonna do this at the end because we're gonna do a meditation. So you're gonna place one pillow like at your glutes, the sacrum, and then lean back on it. And then the other two pillows are gonna go, you're gonna go in butterfly, and then the other two are gonna go right by your hips, okay? So it's really opening up the chest, relaxing the shoulders. So kind of counterbalancing all this forward action we've been doing on the computer. So that's what we're gonna do at the end. So make sure that you have something. I'll give you guys a couple minutes right now. Just gather pillows, blankets, um, you need Three, preferably, um, towels, and just roll it up, okay? So, again, we won't need those till the end. And um, it is really relaxing when you actually have that cushion because your body can completely surrender and relax all the way instead of holding in that position and then you're trying to fight it and your muscles are contracting and relaxing. So, um, that's really why I want you guys to Try that today, okay? Um, so we're gonna do, as I mentioned, we're gonna do a little work and then we're gonna go into a restorative relaxation um, with the meditation. So on the discussion on Canvas, I asked you guys about the strength and meditation and a lot of you mentioned that we should be doing some more meditation. So I love meditation, so we're gonna do it and hopefully it'll be okay with the noise in the background, okay? So let's get started. We're gonna to start today on our back. No bolster, blanket, or anything right now. So you're just on our back, and I want your feet flat, knees bent. Try to get into a comfortable position. Feet grounded. So feeling all four corners of your feet rooted into the ground. And then I want you to squeeze your shoulders, pinch them in together as you're on your back here, palms up. So almost as if you have a pencil between your shoulder blades and we're squeezing that pencil just a little bit. You don't need to over exaggerate, just a little squeeze. And you'll feel some opening in your chest as you do that. I want your tailbone to draw down toward your heels and pelvic tilt slightly so you're engaging your abs. Closing your eyes. Let's just get into our breath. Get into our relaxation. Get into the moment. Be in the present moment. Trying to increase our mindfulness here. Just noticing how you're feeling. If you have racing thoughts, embrace those thoughts. See them in your mind's eye. Let's take a big deep breath in completely, belly, rib cage, and chest. Open mouth, exhale, and release the thoughts, the phrase, whatever is going on through your mind, release it out. We're going to do that two more times. Inhaling completely. Exhale, release. Letting go of all these negative thoughts, racing mind. One more time, inhaling completely. And exhaling completely. On your next inhale, let's reach your arms over the head. 
Feeling your back lift up off of your mat. On your exhale, floating the palms down, lifting the hips up, holding here in a bridge. Inhaling, reaching. Try to take a little bit longer with that inhalation. And then on the exhale, a little bit longer with our normal exhalation. Hold and breathe, squeezing here. Two more times. Inhale, reaching. Exhaling, lifting in the bridge. Last time. Good. Holding here. Walking your hands, shoulder blades together, and then interlace the hands into a chest expansion. Drawing the arms straight down on your mat. And then if you're feeling your knees out or your feet out in front of your knees a little bit, walk your heels back in so your knees can be right over your ankles. And then lift your toes up so your balls of your feet and your heels are grounded. You're lifting your toes up, feeling your inner thighs working. Shoulders drawing down, opening the chest, breathing here. Try to keep that natural curvature through your spine. Deep breath. Open your eyes. As you inhale, watch your belly rise up to the sky. Feel that belly as much as you can. Exhale completely. We're staying here in our bridge. Toes come down to the floor. Draw your heels back toward your glutes. Feeling your hamstrings working a little bit more. Lower here. Inhale completely. Exhale, lower. Walking the shoulder blades out. Bringing the knees into the chest, rocking side to side. Knees rock one way, head floats the other. Good. Find yourself back in neutral, feet hip width distance. Inhale, reaching your arms out and up. Exhale, lifting into bridge. We're doing three. Inhale, release and reach. Exhaling, lifting. Last time, inhale. Exhale, lift. Hold again. Walk your hands beneath you. Interlace the fingers. Chest expansion. I want you to walk your left foot into the center of the mat. And then bring your right leg up to the sky. Lifting a little bit higher, pointing your right toe. Draw that left heel back towards your feet. Inhale here. Stay high with your bridge. Exhale, the right foot comes down to the center. And left leg up. Breathing here. Drive that hip, the hip up. Right foot is down to the ground. Left leg up and extend. Inhale one more. Exhale, lowering. Both legs are down. Feet hip width distance. Release the hands, shoulder blades out. Slowly lower the hips. And bring the knees into the chest again. Walk side to side. Allow the head to float opposite direction. We're going to a double knee twist. Arms out to the side. Float both legs over to the left. Gaze over the right shoulder. Both shoulders down. If you want to extend that top leg out, you can place that left hand on the outer part of your right leg to bring it down a little bit. Or you can grab your big toe, which we've done many times. Extend that big toe. Now that left leg, I want you to extend it down straight. Opening up the low back a little bit more. Inhale completely. Exhale, release. Bending both knees up and over, switching sides. So both knees are stacked over to the right, gazing over to the left, arms out into a T. Top leg extends out. You can use your right hand, place it on the left outer thigh, pushing down or grabbing your big toe, feeling the low back stretch, feeling the outer part of your left hip stretch. And your right leg straightens out down. Feeling that outer part of your left leg stretching a little bit more. Your chest is opening to the sky. Your gaze is still over to the left. Inhale completely. And exhaling, release. Bending both knees, rolling onto your back, hugging knees to the chest. 
nose to the knees. We're going to rock up and down. So let's inhale, come up. Shoulders down and back. Allow the chest to come forward. Exhale, concave that belly. And allow it to roll. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale down. Roll all the way up. We're coming into downward facing dog. And you can begin to bicycle in your downward facing dog here. Drawing one heel down. Transition on your inhale, exhale, sink the other heel down. So our hands show through a distance, fingertips spread out like starfish. Pushing all 10 fingers into the floor. Trying to transfer that pressure from your wrists into your fingertips. Elbows roll in. Sink your chest down and back. And sit bones roll up to the sky. Let's sink both heels down. If they don't touch the ground, that's okay. We'll try to open up the shoulders a little bit more. Squeeze your triceps to the bone. Deep breaths. Bring your chin to your chest. Feel that stretch through your cervical spine. And then relax your head, shaking the head yes and no. Bend the knees, gaze forward, hop, step, walk, feet to the hands, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, monkey. Exhale, forward fold. Reverse long line, inhale and reach. Exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale and reach. On the exhale, we're opening up the chest. Practicing our arms, so 90 degree angle, hips come forward, squeezing your glutes, arms open. Inhale, come up. Exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up in the monkey. Exhale, forward fold. Reverse swan dive, inhale and reach. Exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale and reach. Exhale, cactus the arms. Hips forward, arms back, chest open. Inhale, come up. Exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. Try to fold a little bit tighter than you did before. Inhale, monkey. We're going to hold here and monkey. Shoulders down and back. So you're breathing here, grounding your feet. Try to feel your feet drawing out. Screw those feet into the ground and feel the glutes working here. Shoulders are over the wrists if your hands are down. Lengthen through the torso. So if you're rounding your back a little bit, I want you to draw that chest forward and then glutes back. Inhale one more time here. Exhale, forward fold. Try to fold a little bit deeper here. Bend the knees, reverse swan dive. Inhale and reach. One more time. Exhale, cactus. Inhale. Exhale, hands to prayer. Good. Inhale and reach. Exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. We're going to hold here and we're full. And we're going to lift up our feet. So if you can bring your hands to the floor, then you're going to lift up your one foot at a time and place the top of the hand down on the floor. And your palm, your foot is going on top of the palm and then placing it down. So the end of your toes should be at the end of your wrist. And then we're going to go the other way. So if you cannot touch, you can bend your knees here. If you still can't touch, place your hands on the back of your calf, on the back of your lower leg, and we're pushing. So I'm trying to get that opposing pressure as you're pushing forward. Trying to get a little bit deeper with our forward fold. So hands down. You can wiggle your toes to massage your muscles in your fingers and your hands. If your knees are bent, slowly begin to straighten the right leg. Left knee can stay slightly bent. Right leg is straight. 
Bend the elbows a little bit more. Bring your chin to your chest. Deep breaths here. Allow that right side just to release, lengthen, let go. And then begin to bend the right leg and then straighten the left. So right knee is slightly bent, left leg is straight. Bending the elbows just slightly to bring our torso a little bit closer to our thighs and to our forward fold. Breathing. Right on the inhale. Slightly bending both or beginning to straighten both, whatever feels good for you. We're going to release our hands from the floor, from under our feet, and hold to your forward fold, grabbing your elbows. And if you can you want to stay still or move side to side, do whatever feels right for you. Just loosening up the spine, loosening up the low back, the hamstring. And instead of transitioning back into your heels, let's bring the body weight forward. So our feet are still grounded, but we're feeling more pressure in the balls of our feet to open up a little bit more. Good. Floating the hands all the way down. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees to your hips, come into our chair. Good. Hold here. Draw the tailbone down. Working our hamstrings, working our glutes. Feeling your feet trying to externally rotate. Feet, but your feet are grounded, but they're sticking up. Inhale, drive it up, squeeze your knees. Exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale, reach. Exhale, swan back down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, monkey. Exhale, fold, hop, or step back. First vinyasa of the day. Plank to chaturanga, up dog, or cobra. And take it back, downward facing dog. Left leg up to the sky. Hold here. Sinking that right heel down. I'm gonna bend the left knee. Open up the hips. So I should push your hands forward. We're bending the left knee. The left knee should be pointing to the sky. Look under the right armpit. Can you see your left toes? That's how open I want. So your hips should be stacked here. You're feeling stretched through the inner thigh on the left, on the right. Let's straighten the left leg. Square your hips to the ground. Now you feel that difference. Inhale. On your exhale, we're bringing that left foot all the way in. Inhale, arms out and up. Press it in. Drive that right heel back. Sink into that front knee. Shoulders down and back. Inhale, gaze up, fingertips touch. Exhale, hands down. Take it back, down dog, left leg lifts up. Bend the left knee, we're gonna flip our dog. We're pivoting off the right foot. Place the left foot down, hips lift, left arm up to the sky. Shoulders down and back, squeezing your glutes. Core tight here, we're gonna flip back, we're pivoting off the right. Left leg comes back up in our three-legged dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And take it back, downward facing dog. Good, inhale, right leg up to the sky. Hold here, hands are pushing forward. Sinking the left heel down. Now we're going to bend the right knee, open up the hips, top of the right knee is pointing to the sky, and try to look and open, look under the right armpit, find your right toes. Deep breaths. So if your right hand is lifting up a little bit, ground it, push that right hand forward. Open up the hips, stack them, sink the left heel down. Good, we're going to pivot it off. The right, the left foot, coming into our, flipping our dog, hips up, right arm reaching, inhale here, exhale, floating back, down dog, left, right leg is up to the sky, inhale, plank, exhale, chaturanga, 
Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, take it back, downward facing dog. Right leg lifts to the sky. Right leg steps through between your hands. See the reach, press it through. Hold and breathe. Driving that right heel back, feeling your hamstrings working. Inhale, gaze up, fingertips touch. Exhale, steps forward, forward fold. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, fold. Sink into chair and fold. On the next inhale, drag it up. Yes, correct. Inhale and reach. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, come up. Exhale, swan dive down, forward. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, fold. Taking a step back with the uh, left foot. Sink and reach, crescent knee. Inhale, gaze up, fingertips touch. Exhale, hands down, step back, down dog, right leg is up. Bend the knee, open the hips, pivot off that foot, flipping your dog. Hips up. Core strong, flip the dog back over, right leg is up. Inhale into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Take it back, downward facing dog. Left leg up to the sky. Bend the left knee. Open up the hips. Slowly pivot. Look at the dog. Open the hips. Squeeze the glutes. Inhale here. Exhale, flip back. Left leg is up. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Take it back, downward facing dog. Left leg up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, left leg steps through, seat and reach, press it in. Inhale, gaze up, fingertips touch. Exhale, hands down, we're stepping forward into chair. Coming straight into our chair. We're gonna pivot into, uh, transition the weight into the right leg, and left leg comes up, but we're staying in our chair. So we're in our chair, and our left leg is up. We're going to step that left foot back and come into crescent leg. Okay, so we went from chair to transition, left leg is up, all the way to the right, transition back, crescent leg. Good. Hands in prayer. Sink it a little bit deeper. If you need to modify, you can drop the back knee and drop the toes. Otherwise, stay low. Gonna twist to the right. Staying low in that crescent. Look over the right shoulder. Twist a little bit more. Place that left elbow outside the right knee, for instance. Open up the chest. Look over that right shoulder. Drive the left heel back. Push the elbow into the outside of the right knee. Opening up. Think about the length through the crown of your head. On the next inhale, arms come up. Exhale, take it back, down dog. I know that right leg is burning, shake it out. Bend the knee. Flip your dog if you want to. Transition, hips up. Work that core, open the chest, shoulders over the wrist. Inhale here. Exhale, pivoting back, right leg lifts up to the sky. Three-legged dog. Going for your vinyasa, inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga, leg comes down. Inhale, up dog with cobra. Take it back, downward facing dog. Three breaths. Bend the knee, gaze forward. Pop our step, feet to the hands, forward fold. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, fold. Reaching out and up. Hands to play. Inhale and reach. Exhale, chair. Good. 
good. Transitioning into the left leg. Stay low in your chair. Transition to that left. Right leg is up. Grounding that left. Transition. Breathe. Core strong. Stay low. And we drive that right leg back. Come into your crescent loop. Stay deep. Hands to prayer. Staying tall for our torso. Twist to the left. Drive that right heel back. Sink it into the front knee. Twist a little bit more. Right elbow outside the left knee. Or twist, lengthen. So see that line from my right leg through the spine, through the crown of my head. On here. Draw that chest forward. Squeeze that right leg back. Drive it back. Front knee, left foot. Left knee should be over the left knee. Gaze over that left shoulder. Open up the chest to the left. On your next inhale, come back. Good. Exhale, take it back. Down dog. Left leg is up and open your hips. So you can stay here and flip your dog. Right hand hips up. Right shoulder over the right wrist. Extending the left arm. Breathing. Core strong. Squeeze your glutes. Hamstrings. Inhale, transition. Pivot. Left leg is up. We're going through our vinyasa. Leg comes down. Use your breath to go through your movements. We're in down dog. Three breaths. Bend the knees, gaze forward. Pop our step feet to the hands, fold. Inhale, one feet. Exhale, fold. Reverse small dive, inhale, reach. Hands to fold. Going through one more time, inhale, reach. Exhale, chair. Transition to the right. Left leg comes up. Extend the left leg forward, fold. You're still in that single leg squat. Bend the knee up to the chest. Take that giant step back to crescent move. Arms out to a T. We're sinking into that front knee a little bit more. We're twisting to the right. Look over that right shoulder, twist a little bit more. Bend the left elbow. Left elbow goes outside the right knee and the arm comes straight down. Right arm is up. Open up the low back, the chest. Sink into that front knee. So that right arm, bring it down. We're doing arm circles and up. So the inhale, arm comes up. Exhale, back and around. Inhale, arm comes up, thumb is up. Exhale, back and around. Last time, inhale, we come up. Hold on the exhale, open up the chest. Good, float the right hand down. Step back, downward facing dog. Right leg is up, our last flipping of the dog. Last time we're going through this series here. Lifting up a little bit higher. Holding, be strong here. Inhale completely. Exhale, flip back. Right leg is up. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga, leg comes down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Take it back, downward facing dog. Bend the knees, gaze forward. Pop our step feet to the hands, forward fold. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive, inhale, reach. Hands to prayer. Last time here. Inhale and reach. Exhale in the chair. Hold in your chair. Transition to the left. Right leg comes up. Abs are tight. Knee is up, toes up. Extend that right leg out as much as you can. Lift it. Hold, we're staying in that knee bend. Left knee is bent. Bend the right knee up to the chest. Take that giant step back into our crescent knee. Good. Sink here. Arms out to a T. Make sure that left knee is over the ankle. Tuck the tailbone. 
for lifting, uh, twisting to the left. Keep the arms out and open. Shoulders down and back. If your shoulders are sore, maybe you need to bend your arms. They can still twist. Look over that left shoulder. Twist a little bit more. What is your front knee doing? That front knee needs to be over the second toe. Bend the right elbow. Place that right elbow outside the left knee. You can straighten that arm, arms up and open. Breathe. Sinking. Allowing the low back to release. Working that front leg. That left arm coming back, down. Inhale up, exhale back and around. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale. Putting more pressure through that front big toe to help you balance. Exhale, hold, inhale, hold on the exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down, step back, down dog. Left leg is up and open. Smooth the finger dog. Last one. Inhale, continue. Exhale, transition. Going for our vinyasa. Take it back, downward facing dog. Let's hold for three here. We're going to hop both feet to the outside of our hands or step. We're in our low yoga spot. Hands to prayer. Use your elbows to push the knees out. Head is up. So, looking like this. Toes are out. Knees over the ankles. Hands in the prayer. Use your elbows to push the knees out. And I, my chest is up. Breathing here. Place my hands on my toes and on my exhale, I'm going to lift and come up into a forward fold. So I exhale, forward fold. My toes are still out because I'm coming back into that low spot. And I bring my chin to my chest. Inhale, transition. Exhale into that low spot. So I'm going to show you from profile. So we're still out here. Inhale, transition. Exhale into that fold. Inhale, transition. Exhale into that low squat. Inhale, exhale. And so now I can start to bend my elbow to draw my torso closer to the thighs. Kind of what, like what we did at the beginning of class with our hands under our feet. Inhale, transition. Exhale into that low squat. Two more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, and then we're going to hold here in our low spot, release, hands back to prayer. So we're prepping for what we've done a few times. And a few of you, this is your, one of your favorite poses. So we're gonna go into our crow. Each time we do it, we should get a little stronger and a little bit better. So, arms are out, hands on the ground. My knees, inner part of my knee is on, attached to my upper arm. I'm shifting my weight forward, my hands are grounded, fingertips grounded. I'm going to lift my knees up onto the triceps a little bit more. My heels are up. I exhale, lift the hips up. Think about that Mula Banda breath that we learned a while ago. So we exhale, lift, and I transition forward. So if I'm not feeling it, I can lift one leg up at a time. Breathing, shoulder blades up, hold my tailbone. So I can hold here for three, bring that left leg down, and then bring the right leg up, hold. If I'm feeling it, then I can come up and bring both legs up. Folding and curl. Breathe. Good. And then release. Knees down. Roll your toes under. 
sitting on your heels. So I'm going to show you a transition. A couple weeks ago, we learned tripod. So the tripod is the preparation for a headstand. Remember, preparation is the key there. So tripod is easier than crow, I feel. But I want you, I wanted you to learn how to lift your body up against gravity. So I'm going to show you tripod again. Your head is down, the crown of your head, and hands are back. Okay, so here, I lift into down dog, I walk my toes up, and I'm placing my knees on my triceps. So basically it's here, shoulders up. So I have two things you guys can work on. Okay, and right now we're gonna work on this, just working our strength, core strength, and body awareness. Okay, so we're not doing a headstand, but it's preparation and building strength. So your two options, one is to go into tripod. So we're in that tripod stance, okay, here. And as you exhale, my belly's to my spine, and I'm gonna slowly lift the knees up and then bring them back down. Inhale, exhale, lift the knees up and then slowly bring back down. So I'm working my core. My arms are nice and solid. My arms are not wiggling around. They're solid. I'm pushing my hands down into the mat and then shoulders away. As I do that, lifting up, and then I come back down. Okay? That's one option. The second option, you're gonna go to crow. So if you feel pretty solid in crow, then in your crow, you're gonna transition from here, crow, slow, slow, slow control, tuck the chin, and we come into our tripod. From here, now you can work on that lift, or you can come back to crow. Stick it, then chin to the chest, come back into tripod. So some days are better, better than others. So each time you try a pose, you get better. All right, so that's why we do a lot of repetition in yoga. We just get, we get stronger, more flexible, muscle memory, and your body begins to change, okay? So your options, tripod, so that's our first. Okay, so head down, I'll talk you through it. Crown of the head, hands back. You're gonna lift up into downward facing dog. You're gonna walk your toes closer to your elbows. And then place one knee on the tricep at a time. Belly button to the spine, work that core. So if you're not ready yet, just hold here. So from here, if you wanna lift one knee up and then bring it down. And then the other knee up and then bring it down. You can work single knee, you can work both knees. So let's do that a couple times. If you want to go into your crow, if you feel solid in crow, control down into the tripod. And then bring it back up. Breathe. Connect that breath and movement. So work that a little bit. Breathing, connecting that core. So it's nice that you're at home so you can, if you fall, it's okay, all right? So once you guys are done with the trial, then I'm gonna have you go onto your knees, roll your toes under, sit on your heels, and watch for a moment. So in class, if we were in class, I would have you guys at this point go to the wall. Um, so I know a lot of you are not practicing with a wall close by, so don't do it now. I'm just gonna demo and you guys can begin to practice on your own. If you use a door, make sure you lock the door so nobody opens it on you. And I know it sounds silly, but it will happen, okay? So with the wall, I'm gonna have you guys go into your tripod. Not today, not today because some of you don't have a wall, but this is what I want you to do, okay? So I have my wall here. You want to be about a forearm distance from the wall with your head. 
Okay, so you need enough space for your butt to get up and your body to get up. Okay, so I'm going to tuck my shirt so I don't flash you all. Um, you can put your yoga mat on the crown of your head, but you do not want a pillow. A pillow is too soft and you tend to sink into the pillow, so you don't want a pillow. So I'm forearm distance from the wall where my elbow lands, that is where my head's going to go. Okay, so I'm here. My hands are back, and basically all you're going to do is go into tripod. So here you are in tripod. So eventually, so you can start working in that tripod up and down. So eventually, when you build that strength, you can lift up into a headstand, and you have the wall right here for feedback. Okay? So work on that control with your core. Okay? So not today because you don't have a wall, but you can start working on your own. All right. So let's go into um, let's go into down dog. We're gonna stretch out our hips a little bit. Right leg is up, and right leg floats through, coming into pigeon. Bring that right knee outside the right wrist. Left leg draws back to increase that length the hip flexor. Left leg is down, left toes down. So my body is at 12 o'clock. My right knee is at 2 o'clock. I'm sinking my pelvis down into the center. Try not to sit on your right glute. Now my body's going to come down. I'm on my forearms. I'm drawing my forearms back toward my body to bring my body forward. Hold here and breathe. If you feel that you can go deeper without rounding your back, I want that back drawing the chest forward. You can stack your forearms and rest your forehead on your forearm. So my pelvis is down, belly is sinking, chest drawing forward, and my forehead is resting. If you're not feeling it, then stay up. Inhale completely. And exhale, walk it up. So from here, we're going to stay for a moment. Bend the left leg. Reach back. So our arm circle helped us here. We're going to reach back and grab the arch of the left foot. Squaring our shoulders forward. Trying to bend the left knee and bring the heel to your back or glutes. So look at your knee. I do not want you twerking your knee, twisting it. So we're here. If you can bring that foot to the crux of your elbow, don't force it. Squaring your body forward. So quad stretch, hip flexor, and hip piriformis. Now, if it's too much for you, you're going to roll onto your right side and stretch out your quadricep this way. Okay? Be honest with yourself. Doesn't matter where you are in these poses. If you want a little bit more, you can place that top heel down to drive that leg and knee down. Inhale completely. And exhale, release. So if you were in pigeon pose, bicycle, Good. Left leg up and left leg floats through. Coming into our pigeon, right leg down. Draw that right leg back to get an extra length. Sinking down. Body is 12 o'clock. Left knee is 10 o'clock. Sinking pelvis centered. Chest, forearms. So we've done this many times. You should know the modification of pigeon, which is figure four. So if you're having your, um, if it's too much or you have some knee issues, go into that figure four stretch, crossing the left ankle above the right knee. Okay, very safe. So otherwise we're going into our, we're in our pigeon here. Drawing the chest forward. If you feel that you can go deeper, 
Continue to draw length through the spine without compromising that pose, and then you can sink down and rest your forehead. Slowly come up, bend the right knee, inhale, left right arm comes up and around, grabbing the arch of the right foot, sinking, breathing, bringing the heel to your back or glutes, squaring your body forward, getting that deep stretch through your quadricep and hip flexors on the right, making sure you're not twisting or twerking your knee. So everything should be in proper alignment. If you feel your body popping up and twisting to try to reach, then we roll onto our left side, going into our quad stretch this way. Let's take two more breaths here. One more inhale. And exhale, release, going into down dog, shaking it out. And let's do one last vinyasa of the day. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Dropping your knees, coming into extended child pose. Good, and come up. So you can grab your pillows that you gathered at the beginning of class. So one pillow is gonna go lengthwise, and the other two blankets or whatever you've gathered will be at your side. So we're going to go soles of the feet together, knees out into our butterfly. Make sure that the one pillow is really at your sacrum. So go up, bring it all the way to your glutes and then come back. So we have, if you have a, um, Foam roll, it may be a little big, but you can see how it goes. Maybe put a blanket over it so it's a little softer. So knees are out. So you can really open up the hips, have the feedback um, with your hips so they don't start to shake in our meditation. Chest is up and open and palms out. So we're here. So this should feel pretty good, okay? So closing your eyes, trying to get comfortable. We're gonna go into perfect health meditation, and it's day two of that meditation called The Nature of Perfect Health. So here we go. Welcome to day two, The Nature of Perfect Health. So what does perfect health really look like in our daily lives? That's a question you need to ask for yourself. Is it in our nature to become sick every once in a while? Or can we really always be well? Our bodies are constantly providing clear messages to us to help stay balanced and to keep us healthy. And intuitively, we know that when we heed these signals, we thrive. Now, Deepak is going to introduce us to the centuries-old science of Ayurveda, which is centered on longevity and well-being. And he talks today about how we can take steps to ensure that we enjoy good health throughout our lives. So relax with me and listen as Deepak Chopra explains how we can work in concert with our bodies to achieve lifelong health and vitality. I know I want more of that. So let's meditate together. Ayurveda is a 5,000 year old science which in Sanskrit means wisdom of life or the science of longevity and the ancient sages of Ayurveda boldly and wisely Ask the ultimate question, must we become sick and grow old? Their answer was no. We can be immune to illness and decline, and disorders can be prevented or reversed, 
as long as balance is maintained. Balance of mind, body and spirit. Perfect balance makes perfect health possible. We are all governed by an evolutionary impulse, driving us to grow and progress, to expand beyond our own imagined limits. This impulse directs our overall balance automatically and can be witnessed in every organ and cell in our bodies. The most positive message we can send our bodies every day is to be aligned with balance in all things. Taking time to enter the stillness each day and getting adequate rest help maintain the balance our bodies need. But we also need to move, both mentally and physically. Exercise is one way to ward off physical inertia. Taking a passionate interest in life keeps mental inertia at bay. Best of all, self-awareness enables the whole mind-body system to be dynamic because self-awareness makes room for spontaneity the exquisite freedom of the unexpected see if you can remain open to spontaneity in your own life each day surprise yourself Take an interest. Find something to be passionate about. These are all deep forms of healing. And when you pursue them, you are truly experiencing perfect health. As we prepare for our meditation, let's consider our centering thought. Balance is my true nature. Balance is my true nature. Let's begin. Please sit comfortably and close your eyes. In this moment, Go within. Let go of all thoughts and begin to observe the inflow and outflow of your breath. Inhaling and exhaling slowly and deeply. Now, Gently introduce the mantra. It is the sound yam, which is associated with the anhata or heart chakra, the energy center in the middle of the chest. Repeat the mantra silently to yourself. Yum. 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 Whenever you find yourself distracted by thoughts or noises around you, simply return your attention to mentally repeating the mantra. Yum. Yum. Continue with your meditation. I'll mind the time, and at the end, you'll hear me ring a soft bell. Yum. 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 
just mentally. Yum. Yum. Yum.
No. It's time to release the mantra. Please bring your awareness back into your body. Take a moment to rest. When you feel ready, gently open your eyes. Approach today with enthusiasm and contemplate the centering thought. Balance is my true nature. Balance is my true nature. Balance is my true nature. Namaste. And if you're still in your restorative pose, you can roll to your side and then come up to a seated position. You can sit on your heels or sit cross legs, sit lotus, half lotus, bringing your hands to a heart center. Thumbs to your heart center, chin to your chest. Let's take one collective breath, completely inhaling. Open your mouth, exhale through your mouth. Perception is a mirror, not a fact. And what I look on is my state of mind reflected outward. Thank you for coming to class today, being patient with all the noise. Enjoy the rest of your day. My spirit honors yours. Namaste. Thank you. I'll see you guys on Thursday.